so now we're going to take a look at the different weather effects. Snow? Uh, snow? I've called you Snow now. So this is Snow Light. Stone as we cycle through, let the community know what the different effects are. Uh, yep, snow lights, and then this is snow heavy. Very nice indeed. Next one, if possible. Fog light, even though the snow's still there. It should go okay, in a bit. So the the snow, so they they kind of oh they don't fade out completely. But these this is still work in progress. Remember, this is the public test here. There's still things to be polished here. Next one. Fog heavy. Okay, very nice. I like how the little light behind you is um, flashing, so you can still see it through the fog sort of thing. Uh, keep going. Next one. Rain light. Okay, so the rains. The rain's very strange at the minute, but hopefully that'll be worked yeah. out sooner. It's almost like the rain's going up to a degree. Next one. Rain heavy. Oh, God, it's kind of a bit yellowy. All right, next one. Mars storm light. Okay, so this, this would work way better on Mars. It looks really weird on Earth. Uh, should we? I'm going to quickly go to Mars. Give me a second. Is there Mars in this world, Stone? Should be. Okay, so it's not happening in space while that's going on. It's even happening on Mars, though, or do we need to stay on Mars? Uh, hold on. No, so maybe the, the commands are localized to the planet, because I'm on, I'm on Mars now. So if you, if you teleport to me quickly... Oh, bring your survival pod. Bring your survival pod with you so we can see what the lighting's like. Yeah, so it's localised to the planet. So different planets, I guess, can have different weathers going on. And what's this one called? This is the Mars Storm light. Alright, okay. So it's still like almost like puffing powder effects. Uh, what's the next one? Mars Storm Heavy is the next one. Let's check that out. Okay, so a deeper, intense fog. And I guess these effects look totally different at day and night as well. So let's just... Um, I'm just going to quickly swing the moon around, the sun around. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so it's a little bit lighter in the day. I'll move it back into position there. Next one, what's that? Got two more left. That's thunderstorm light. <laughs> okay, okay. Very weird on Mars, but yeah. And are we getting thunder? Do we get any thunder with this? Oh yeah, there we yeah, go. That's, I heard uh, it, I heard it. Right behind you. Do you see the flash? Do you see the flash? Yeah, yeah. It was literally right on your person. Oh, there we go, there we go. Right, very cool. Right, next one. Oh, that was awesome. And now this is heavy thunderstorm, yeah? Yep, there we go. It's a bit more fog again. Okay, so same effect, it's a little bit more thug, but you can still see through this one that I quite like, because it's, it's horrible when the visibility is zero. Let's have a look at this at night, shall we? Um, see if it really darkens out. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Uh, turn your head torches on uh, for a second, Stone. Oh, very nice indeed. All right, is that all the weather effects, or is there anything else that they've added? Yeah, no, that's all of them. <laughs> so a final feature that we've just discovered here is... They are not even covering the whole planet. They are localized to an area that it seems to be activated. So if we head into this area, it slowly builds up. Now this, this is certainly cool. I like this. This means you can kind of escape a storm as well. So are we going into a thunderstorm or just fog at the minute? I think this is... No, this is heavy snow. So now the snow starts when you get into deep. Okay, so the further we go in, the snow starts to appear. Does it does it fade in the snow slowly or does it just appear in front yeah. of you? No, it fades in slowly. Oh, okay. Soon. Yeah, there. So, so the snow's snow's appearing there. Very weird on Mars. And if I head back this way, it should start to disappear. Oh yeah. So there's there's kind of like they've set like boundaries. Oh, you can see it, sort of in the distance. Hold on. Let me put the sun in there. Yeah. Um, oh. oh. Oh, what have I done? Have I broke the weather? Ah. Uh. All right. So so if we move into this area. The snow starts to appear around this section. Well, the fog's definitely gone. I don't know what's that. 
Interesting. Very very cool indeed. There's, there's, oh, wow. Yeah. Now now it's here. Did you just call that in as a command? Yeah, I just cut it back in yeah, to see if that was fix it. Now, first off, we've got the hydrogen tank. Now, this is the hydrogen tank for the large ship. You can see that there's a little bit of detail. We've got pipes. We've got hydrogen. We've got a flammable warning because these guys do explode, just like their larger friends. On the side, there's a little H2 marker. And we've got the pipes on this side as well. We've also got like a standard battery or a standard hydrogen tank does a little fill level so we can quickly reference it. Now, having a look over at the small model, we've got ourselves this little guy here. Now, it's interesting, this one. Me and Stone have been talking that you can only actually fill it from the top and bottom. So it means it actually has to stick out from a design unless you're going to try to pipe it in. The detailing on this block, once again, it's got a hydrogen tank, a flammable warning, and the little indicator of how much is being stored. I really like that little valve on the side. So, Stone, let's take a look at the smaller contraption we've set up here. Now, we've preset this up with ice. There was a little filling issue that we'll have to report. But what we're going to do now is just blast through this guy. So that sounds like a real... I'm not going to say ever say that again. No. Um, no, let's never say that again. Okay, so you're going to hit, hit the left button, and we're going to see how quickly a small thruster drains this tank. Now, if I also hit the Enter key and paste a little bit of information in for you there, you can see that we've got the capacity of the large grid and the small grid tanks there. So you can see the second grid is, of course, the large, and the first one is the small one. So you can quickly have a look over that there. So, oh, there we go. What's going on? Why are we getting thrust pulsing? Is it, are we having power issues? We're having power issues, Stone. Oh. <laughs> Bloody hell. We're trying, we're trying to make this test fast and effective, and we, we've slowed ourselves down. Put some good old uranium in there. You can't trust that battery power. There we go. All right, so we've already sabotaged our test. Let's activate the thruster again. Let's see what happens. I need to turn off the O2 generator. Okay, O2 generator is off yeah. and thruster is burning. So we do get quite a bit of time out of the small thruster. And as Stone said before, with the small thrusters, if you're smart enough to build the same size as a large thruster, so that's a six. Is it six small thrusters? So a three by three, so nine you can oh, get nine. into it. So nine, nine thrusters gives you better capacity than a large thruster if you didn't already know. But we can have a look. We're slowly ticking through the amount. So you can see the drain just from that there. So let's turn this one off. And let us refill our tanks. So you can see just how quickly we got down to 70%. And you can see that there's actually still a drain in effect. This is one of the bugs that's happening at the moment. Even though we're not uh, generating any power at all. Or, or oxygen or hydrogen or whatever. But you can see we've got ourselves the regeneration in effect. Lovely. And we're back up. Now, would you like to press button two, Stone? And you activate the big thruster. Uh, hold on. Got to fix the Oh, we've glitch. broken it again. We've got the glitch again. Okay, so, that's, yeah. that's where the ghost hydrogen leaves the tanks. There is a mysterious leak in the small tank that we need to fix. All right, back to 100%. Off it goes. And power it up. So you can see the drain is considerably faster on that large thruster as expected. You can see it just dropping right down there. So if you if you want to use large thrusters for whatever reason, I'm not too sure why, you'd want to consider maybe using a larger tank or a better tank combination. Now let's turn that off there. So we'll deactivate that thruster. We'll let that guy fill back up in case we need it again. And we'll head over to the bigger one. So with the bigger block, you can see that we've got it integrated here. We've just added all this on here just to fill it up as fast as possible. And are all these off now, Stone? Yeah, they were off. All right, so let's activate the small thruster first, and I'll have a look from this angle, and we'll have a look at the drain. So since it's a much larger tank, the drain is going to be considerably slower. And if I quickly reference uh, my chart of things once again with my menu, let's have a quick look. Yeah, so you can see the capacity is nowhere really near the large tank, the large grid one. Is it about? It's about half, isn't it? I'd say. I would say it's actually below it's half. Below. I'd say it's nearly a quarter. Yours. Well, is it in, is is that the large grid? Oh yeah, the large grid one is nearly a quarter, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's it's weird because the ratio of the you know the large small ship, if that makes any sense to you, isn't as bad. Yeah. Then. Hmm. Right. 
it's interesting. Keen are trying something differently with this, and they're definitely trying to balance it. Um, so let's actually shut that off for the second. You can see the drain's taking us down to 86%. Not, not at all too worrying at all. But if you were going to run a large hydrogen thruster off it, let's have a quick look. So we're just quickly refilling that tank as fast as we possibly can with all these ice collect and little hydrogen oxygen generators. Starting to realise where the issues came the frozen now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how it's... slow they are. Right now, blast away. Okay, so it's still it's it's not as bad as when it was taken away from the smaller tank, but of course, since it's a larger volume, you wouldn't notice it as much. But it is burning through that hydrogen mighty fast. So that is just a little bit of a comparison. We'll, we'll switch that off. You've got kind of a bit of a sense of just how it's burning, how these smaller tanks work in comparison to the larger ones. Of course, the main benefit is just size, fitting these in and around your designs. Now, let's have a look at this little ship we've been building. Um, you see the little miner. So we built ourselves a little miner here. Stone, if you want to pop yourself inside. Now, this is just a standard configuration. We've got ourselves one of the small tanks, and we're just going to have a little bit of a flight around with this just to see how quickly this guy drains down. Now, it would be probably pretty a good idea to put an LCD on this for everyone so they can see it. So I'll stick that on the roof, and uh, we'll put a script on it, and we'll put the hydrogen one. Thank you very much. And energy and hydrogen is now being deployed. Okay, so let's take this up. Just keep it level so I can see the tank levels. Just see how quickly we're burning it through. Give us a little bit of a thrust forward. Okay, stop about there. Let's just see how quickly this is burning through with a standard ship configuration. So a, one small tank isn't really too bad. Um, you won't be able to take much of a trip, would you, Stone, to be fair on no. it? No. Let, let's, let's do a little bit of mining um, and see if it can deal with too much of the weight load. Of course, this is more to do with our thrust ratio. We've got ourselves only two downward thrusters, so as soon as the weight starts going up in that tank, we might have ourselves some issues. But yeah, you'd, this would be a very, very quick mine operation with one tank. So you definitely want to duel them up. I'd even say go for four or five, wouldn't you, Stone, of these smaller ones? I would say so, yeah. So, right, have we lost power now because we've got too heavy? Yeah. All right. Take, well, I'd sort of point out. So let's try getting back to base as fast as we can. If possible, you're going to have to tilt it slightly up. So yeah, you're going to need more than one of the little tanks. The, li the little tank could be used for maybe like a disposable missile or something oh, like that. Out. Oh no. Yeah, so there you go. Ran out of hydrogen. So the little tank alone may be a small missile, but you're going to need to double it up, add a few more. I mean, was the hydrogen tank generating as well as you were flying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, it was going so even a small ship like that, once a bit of weight is added to it, it's, it's, going, it's going to really struggle. So to wrap that up here, this is not an update, remember. This is a public test, and we're just having a quick look into some of the features that came along with it. Now, if they'll remain like this, if they'll change, we don't know. It's just it's just a test. Like I said, they might add more features, change more things. And by looking into some of the files and some of the things that people are digging up, there is a lot going to be happening in this update. Some possibly quite cool features. But anyway, it's all speculation at the moment, and I don't like to cause any sort of rumours or anything like that. So this is what I've got my hands on so far. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.